Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Hi guys, ready for another sort of quick project an easy one great i have some beautiful book pages in front of me these came this is a vintage book this came from a children's book which one was it this one i've been using the pages but it had some of these lovely illustrations in them some sort of botanicals and i really like them well normally i'd like more colorful illustrations but what are you gonna do throw them out use them as glue pages no make something beautiful out of them so what i want to do is make a wallet let's call it a wallet um, I want this to be shorter, and then when you open it up, it's going to have two pockets here. Yes, so two pockets, like in a wallet, and then maybe something in the back. I don't know yet, but this on the front. Yeah, so a wallet type of thingy. For supplies, I'm using book pages. Now, I took this out of the book, uh, out of the signature. Yeah, so they are still stuck together. I think that is very important. They are a little bit damaged uh, in the middle because that's where the sewing of the signature went. But that's okay because I'm going to reinforce it. So book pages, hopefully some with beautiful illustrations on them. These are botanicals. Um, I want to decorate. Now, um, you've probably seen me use the Robons from 49 and Market, the beautiful teal ones. I love them so much, so I also got the pink ones. So I'm going to use lots of pinks on here. Probably a, be a beautiful butterfly and what have you. So um, my Robons. Also, I have the matching um, washi tape set. I am really into Fortinine and Market at the moment. I just want to explore this brand a little bit. It has these washi tapes and um, I'm going to use some for reinforcing the spine. Probably, maybe even the pockets. I don't know yet, but I just, I want to use them, I guess. I might, and I might do some sewing. Probably not, but I might. Um, for decorating, I, always was, uh, I also was thinking about some uh, stenciling. I have this beautiful sort of vines, yeah, uh, with some of these lovely green colors that are in here. Uh, and, you know, maybe a label or something or other or a beautiful collage on the back. I don't know. Uh, glue, scissors, inking. Yes, the only thing um, fancy that I'm going to use, maybe... Um, is my sewing machine. But let's see how far we'll get. Let's first start making uh, the base for this wallet pocky thingy. So for the base, I want this to be on the cover with the small title on here. And then I want the pocket to be this big. So I'm going to cut it over here. Taking this bit off on the bottom let's see we're going to cut it over here is this straight i'm hoping it is there we go yep so i'm gonna fold it open and now i'm gonna fold this up now hopefully this is straight probably is Let's see on the front. Yes. I just wanted this um, sort of title to be on here. It says the squirrel. That's not a squirrel. Yeah. Like so. Is it too long? I think it's too long. Shall, shall we uh, snip some off? I think so. I'm going to snip a little bit off. To make it a little bit smaller. A little bit more in proportion. Yes, much better. I'm keeping these because this is beautiful paper and I can make some lovely sort of labels with these. Not for this project, probably, maybe even, but probably not. There you go. So, what I want to do is have this pocket, this pocket, yes. Going to decorate this, going to decorate this. 
And this big de decoration over here. Do we want another pocket on the back? Don't think so. Don't think so. And you know, some lovely stuff. Some lovely stuff. Before I make the pockets, I want to ink. Um, I do not want it to be very sort of grungy. So I'm taking out tea dye. It will sort of mimic the already darker color on the top here. I'm hoping. Hoping it will. So I'm just going to ink all around. Oh yeah, that's sort of the same. Not really, but sort of. Sort of. So I will all also ink where it's already a little bit discolored. I'm inking over here. There's no need to ink over here because I'm going to put some... Probably going to put some washi over here to reinforce it. Yep. Also the backs. And definitely the inside, the inside of the pocket, because I am going to glue it down first, and then I'm going to attempt to sew it. Hopefully that'll work. Now guys, if I mess up, just in case I mess up, I have two more of these pages, and then I will use another page. Do we want to make a notch in here? Don't think so. No, I'm not gonna make a notch. Are you going to sew here? Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Now I have some like mossy green uh, thread in my sewing machine. I think that'll look very, very lovely. Yeah. Also a little bit over here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew all along here. Yeah. And then here and here. And in the middle. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Then I'm going to do another one. Great. Well, fingers crossed. Did it work? Sort of. Let me show you. Uh, yes, I have a nice sort of zigzag stitch. Yes. But what happened was, um, my spool was the same color. Or so I thought. But... Uh, it's only half of the spool because underneath the green, suddenly this pink appeared. So, uh, yes, it's like the brightest pink ever. So I need to stop sewing. That's okay. I just sewn all around here. That's okay. It's fine, love. I just, I need to practice, guys. That's why I did it. So for the rest, I'm just going to glue it. Hi, Art. How are you doing, guy? Have we used you today? Don't know. Somewhere we did. Yes. Gonna put some glue here and here. So no sewing on this side. Yep. Oh, that's okay. I did a little bit of sewing. Great. See? Now we sort of have the wallet. I'm going to reinforce the spine. Um, on the outside and on the inside straight away because uh, it's almost falling apart. It's almost falling apart. So I'm taking out this one. Isn't it lovely? I could sort of do this trick with the... But, you know. Let's do it. That They invented this. Especially for you. So great. I didn't even realize it was in here. Uh, un until I just took out the tape. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. Let's see. I'm just gonna... It's gonna work like this, guys. See, you just snip it. Yeah. Well, it's more like a gimmick. I do like it with the... Um, I also have this one. Um, the fabric washi tapes. And that works really, really well. Just gonna put half of it on. Flipping it over. Like so. Yep, and then I'm snipping it off, just with my scissors. That's not half, I know, that's okay. Oh, it's, it is lovely, it is lovely though, yes. And then um, some here, well, let's, let's try some. This I don't like. <laughs> I'm sorry, didn't work for me. Let's put this over here. 
See, that works much better. Much better, lovies. Yes. Are we going to fold it over? We cannot. Can we? No, we cannot. So I need to snip it. In here. And here. Lovely tape. Love it, love it, love it. Fantastic. So we reinforced it. It won't break now. See that? You want to have put it here? Maybe? No. No, no, no. Let's take out my um, robins. I think the robins. I want to do a lovely butterfly on the front somewhere. Where are the butterflies? Hello, butterflies. They're here. Just like this sort of big one. Yeah. Uh, there's some sort of splatters around here. Shall we do some more splattering first with my favorite stamp? And some of these lovely colors with some pinks over here as well. And maybe some of the green. Yes, let's do that. I took out a couple of colors. I am thinking um, iced spruce because that went really well with the other colors um, of the robins, the sort of I spruce colored ones and then I have kitsch flamingo and worn lipstick now I have the bottom half of this I'm just going to try how these will look these colors oh that's a good color and then the other side of the stamp see if this is better um, I'm going for a kitsch flamingo kitsch flamingo it is Yes, oh, definitely, definitely. Okay, going to have this underneath. Let's do some splatters. Up here, a little bit there. I'm going to have a butterfly here, so no more than this, probably. Yeah. Are we going to do some over here? Of course we are. Just a little bit here and here. Probably going to do some more decorating, guys. But... While I have my stamp out, let's do some stamping. If you hear some snoring, that Daisy in the back. <laughs> she found her spot again. Are we going to pair this with the iced spruce? I think we are. Already know this color and it's fantastic. Lots of little splatters. There you go. That's enough splattering for today, lovey. Yes. Let's add a butterfly. Which one? I'm just going to go this one on the top. I did get a lot of comments about these. Um, most of them very, very uh, sort of a positive. And then some tips on uh, how to do this using the little stick that comes with it. You know, the rubby sticky. <laughs> this one uh, will work the best. I'm going to have it over here. And then also, um, I need to use this one later on if it's still sticky. Something like it. Let's see. Can I have it over here? I was thinking over here. It could sort of overlap the flower plant thingy, right? Yes. Well, it's gonna. It's gonna now. There you go. Go away. Oops. Sorry, Art. Daisy, 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 she's snoring so hard. That cat can sleep all day. And also during the night, she's not like up at uh, 12 or uh, um, at uh, midnight or anything. No, she sleeps all through the night and all through the day. I think she's up about two hours a day tops. 
Let's just see. Am I doing it right? No, still more rubbing. More rubbing. Yes. Careful, Lobby. Well, I think it's working. Oh, these robins are so pretty. So, so pretty. Yes, well, you can probably get them on Amazon, guys. And if you're in the Netherlands, um, definitely um, check out Do Ed Ding in Spijkenisse. They also have like a web shop. Oh, it's so, so cute. Already love it so, so much. It does need another butterfly. I'm sorry, it just needs another one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have this one on the top. See, it just needs two, just needs two. There we go, a little bit further. Yep, great. What else can we use on here? could see if we could find a nice label something botanical I'm getting the hang of this don't say that out loud love you never know what might happen in the next couple of seconds <laughs> This one doesn't want to come off. Come off. Hello? It just doesn't. Oh, it's, it's stuck to the. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. That's okay. Lovely, lovely. Or a number. Let's see if we can find a label. I took out my Tracy Fox labels. She is a love junk journals on Etsy. So don't go on Etsy and look for Tracy Fox because you won't find her. Way too big. That could work. Or is that too big? It's nice though. Two labels? Definitely doing this one. Um, I am going to ink it with, uh, well, you know, tea dye because tea dye was out. I think I want, let's see if there's any sort of splatter left. Yes, there was. Way more interesting. Um, and art is out. I'm just going to put on art. Oops. I do like this, but can we have a smaller one? Do we have something similar, but smaller? Really, Jack? He wants to sit in my lap. Not now, Lovey. A little bit later, yeah? Oh, these are smaller. Yes, I know, love. Yes, let's have this one. Lovey. Well, apparently this was $50. That's uh, very expensive. Do we love it? We love it. Now, what I want to do is do some um, stenciling on the inside. I already tried out some colors that go very well with, well, this and, uh, <laughs> and the sewing. I have these vines that I really, really like. So I'm just going to put this in here. 
just over here like so i'm taking out two colors um well i spruce again and force moss did i do force moss i think i did yeah so i'm gonna do force moss and i'm going to combine it with ice spruce a little bit here a little bit there let's see how that looks lovely really lovely want to do this the same on the other side mm, probably do oops starting out with forest moss again there we go and finishing it with iced spruce yep it just looks interesting it just looks interesting right what else are we going to do on here um Oh, yes, I had these. Where are they? No, not the butterflies. Not the big flowers. Love the big flowers. So I'm going to put them on, on the back. Uh, maybe we can do a strippy of this somewhere on the bottom. I was thinking. Might look nice. This one, yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this one in half because I want to have a little piece on here and a little piece on there. Just you know, I'm gonna do it like so. Just a tiny bit, yeah. On this bottom. gonna check if I have a nice sort of uh, washi sticker with a butterfly that'll go well with this these robins are fantastic I really like them and they're working they're working maybe also a bit of tape Tiny bit of tape. Daisy, come on, lovey. <laughs> it's like an old man. She's like an old man, guys. It's so. Oh, yes, let's have something in frame. I am so sorry, guys. Well, it wasn't exciting to watch. I'm just rubbing really, really hard. There you go. Yes, lovely, very subtle, but very nice. I found the butterflies. I have this one. It's more like a fantasy sort of a butterfly, but that's okay. I'm going to have this one over here and then this big one. I love the colors. So I'm going to have this one over here and this one over here. Then I have these two labels. I ink them with iced spruce. <laughs> I have this one here and then this one here. I'm probably going to sort of back them with a little bit of the tape. But first, let's do the butterflies. I don't use a lot of butterflies. I like them. Um, but it's not really my go-to. There you go. There you go. Here's one. And there's the other one. I got a pack of these um, butterflies washi, washi stickers a couple of years ago. Ordered one on AliExpress. It came in and it was two. They were sort of stuck to each other. So, yes. Then I had butterflies for the rest of my life. <laughs> there were so many in there. Oh, yes. 
love it. Now for these labels and let's see if we can just rip off a little bit and then again rip it in half. Put something here with the butterfly. Don't know. Well, it's on there now because this paper loved the tape. I'm going to put this over here. Yes. Oh, no, it was this one. It was this one. And this was this one. Right? Not on the sewing, love. Don't put it on the sewing. already thinking about what sort of cards I'm going to put in here. I'm going to look for some um, collectible cards. Some of the beautiful Fakada cards. Hopefully with some butterflies. Yep. It's so lovely. Shall we do one of these on the back? But the, the color green is completely different. Or I also have these. Or another butterfly. I'm going to do a butterfly and a piece of tape. I'm going to have a piece of tape here on the bottom. There you go. And a piece on the top. Yes, do we also want a little bit um, of this? coming in like so apparently we do do we have some ink left i'm just going to use the ink that is left on my sort of daubers oh there's enough ink left here and then i spruce yep perfect and one more butterfly i'm gonna do this one look at the cute small one the problem is now I want another pack because I've used too many butterflies already. <laughs> I'm almost out of butterflies. No, you're not. You just used three of them. <laughs> yes, gonna have this on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rub on it, guys, and I'm gonna take out some cards. And then we're going to fill it. I'll be right back. Here's the front. It is cute, if I do say so myself. And then this is the back. Yes, added a butterfly and another label because it just needed another label. And then on the inside, I put in um, these very nice vintage uh, devotional cards. Uh, the butterfly cards were too big. They were sticking out. So I thought, well, I'll do something with the nice colors and florals. So adding these beautiful devotional cards here could be a happy mail you know and then these two aren't these gorgeous so beautiful so beautiful right yeah so so guys that's it i hope you liked it i really enjoyed it i did sewing and the the threads are sticking out but that's what's supposed to happen and this was a happy accident the pink that was underneath it's just <laughs> a happy coincidence love it cute little project that you can make from a book page just you know make pockets decorate it send it as a happy mail guys i will see you tomorrow with another 100 day project until then bye bye